Hey guys, EXBT Legends here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up the Dark Comet Rat 4.2. Alright, first off, what I'm going to start off with is how to port forward your router. Now, basically, I'm not going to show you how to forward your router because there's tons and tons of different routers as you see here. Now, what you need to do is figure out what kind of router you have. Like, I have the good old two wires. And you can just go down, find your model, click on it, and it will give you an extensive step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do that. And after you've done that, you need to remember exactly what port it is, and then you can go to canyouseeme.org and type in the port that you have open, check it, and if it's good, it will sh say that it's open down here. Ooh, just give it a second. My internet's being lovely right now. Right, I know this is open, but if your internet is slow, it will say that it is closed and it cannot see it. But this is not the most reliable what you can do is download the port checker on here it is a free download just download this you will install it it's quick easy I'll probably just put a direct link to the actual program because lately with the installer all they try doing is put the ask bar on it and all it is is this simple little exe right here and I'll upload that so you guys can have that alright anyways after that's done what you need to do is come to noip.com sign up for a free account very simple after you do that make sure you use a real email because they will send an account verification to it once you've done that you'll need to come to the main page go to manage your account and you're going to create add host and i like to use the good old regular no ips dot org or info all right just make up something random something you can remember but you don't want people to guess easily all right after that's done make sure it's on dns host a don't touch anything just hit create host after you've created host, make sure you copy it. Alright, now that you've done that, you need to come and extract dark comment. Alright, you can just delete this. All it is is like showing that how it works and stuff. If you're interested, you can look at it. But you're going to open up the dark comment folder and then run dark comment. Now you have to sit here a little bit for like 8 seconds so they think that you can read this super fast like goddamn ninja. But uh, after the little wait, just hit it, I accept. All right, now that you have your port forwarded everything, you remember it, just come to sockets forward slash net, right click, add a port to listen to, and since I've forwarded port seven, I'm gonna try it, hit listen, and it was successful. All right, after that, come to edit server. Now the server ID is gonna show you, let's just say, um, since I'm doing YouTube, I'm gonna put a server ID as YouTube. All right, for the name, it's gonna be tut, it's just whatever you wanna save the profile under. Hit generate a few times to make it good. All right, under network settings, you're going to change your port to the one you have forward, like I have, and then you're going to come to local, add local, add the LAN, and add the WAN. All right, and then you want to put your no IP. Make sure there is not an extra space at the end. And then you're going to add this. Do not click on any of them or else it will single them out. All right, this is where people get confused. This is where it starts messing up their server and it does not run. All right, you're going to enable the module. You're going to scroll up to system32. You're going to come over here, delete this, and type in drivers, backslash, and then whatever the hell uh, name you want for this, dot .exe. All right, down here is the install. And I'm going to make mine easy so I can just go delete it. <laughs> All right, you can change the file creation so if somebody sees it, they'll be like, oh, this seems better. A lot of, uh, you know, make it seem good. All right. Make it persistent, so if they try to uh, delete it, it'll come back online, or if it doesn't install the first time, it'll keep hitting it until it gets it right. Do hit it on both of these, and then come down to install message. You can mess with this, but I don't recommend this if you want to be all sneaky. Um, I wouldn't recommend messing with this, because antiviruses will pick this up very, very fast. Uh, the keylogger, make sure that's enabled. It normally is, and you can just skip the rest of that. That's not important. You want to save your profile, build your server, I'm just going to name mine test or T, whatever the hell I feel like it. Once that's done, exit it, and then you're going to come down to connections and just run it. And you should pop right up. There you guys go. Thanks for watching my video, guys. I will have all the links and all the stuff you will need down in the description. If you have any questions, just drop me a comment. I'm sure I've probably forgot something. It's been forever since I've done the tutorial. But I'll try to put as much stuff as I can down in the uh, description. Thanks, guys. See you later.